there! Today we'll have a look at a pen from a brand that I have slightly neglected in, in all of these reviews just because I've not really owned a lot of pens by the brand, but I did own one uh, and today we'll have a look at this one. It's Carandash. Uh, it's a very interesting uh, brand from Switzerland and this is the Le Mans Caviar. Now this pen was sent to review by Joost Appelboom from Appelboom Pennen. Uh, thanks a lot, Joost. And for everyone who now thinks, oh, but now you're no longer objective because you got the pen for free. No! That is not really a problem because I have to return the pen. So you don't have to panic. I'm still completely objective. All right, let's continue. The Carandash Le Mans. Le Le Mans is an expensive pen. This is, uh, I actually believe this is Carandash's flagship pen. I also think they occasionally do really expensive special editions, but this is a, uh, the model is in regular production, the Le Mans. I'm just going to say Le Mans, maybe there is another way to pronounce it, but forgive me. And this is the pen, uh, it comes in this box, you can pop out the little pen holder and then you get the owner's guide book, which I will not leave through too aggressively because, as I said, I have to return the pen, but uh, it's a nice booklet, uh, it has some, some full color pictures, Here's the, the, the old style Carandash ink bottles, etc. Okay, uh, it also has what is probably the cutest little box of a few uh, cartridges. And something that I have always enjoyed about Carandash cartridges. Completely useless, but they actually have Carandash imprinted in them. Silver embossing. Is it actual silver? No, it's not. It's just silver colored. All right, then we go on to the pen. Here is the pen. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. All right, so first of all, what I have always enjoyed about the Kandash pen that I used to have is the finial, which has the Kandash logo. Uh, very fascinating. Then you have the clip. Uh, the clip is definitely... Oh, look, it's a cat. Can you see the head? The head of the cat. Uh, there's a clip. I like the... That's the tail of a cat. The cat has to go away. Goodbye, cat. All right. Here we have the clip. The clip is nice, shiny. I also found it very usable. It's spring-loaded, and as you can see, it's not too tight, which I really enjoy. Uh, here we have the cap, and it's the same material as the barrel. I really enjoy that. I also really... And guess who's back? It's the cat. Um, I also really enjoy uh, the, the feeling because even though this looks like it has some type of texture on it, it's actually completely smooth, uh, which is interesting. All right, then we have the uh, center band, which uh, says, quite simply, Carandash, and Swiss made. The end of the barrel, just a silver colored, uh, chrome colored, as you like it, uh, finial at the end there. All right, the pen unscrews. I actually thought it was a pull cap, um, but it's not. It's been a while since I touched this. It's been here and I've been writing a lot with it, but... Okay, so here you have the section. What I enjoy about the section is the shape. It's a very nice tapered design. And then you have the nib, which I'll show you there, which I like. What I liked about the nib is, again, has the Kandash logo and it has a really nice uh, pattern in it. I don't know how well you can see that but it has a fairly cool, um, it's very hard to describe, sort of stripe pattern. It, it reminds me a little bit of um, ice hanging from a cave ball for some odd reason. Anyway, it's an 18 karat nib. Uh, this is a medium, so you can get them in other uh, nibs too. Uh, it says Swiss made right above the center band, and then it has threads. You can see those threads right there, uh, and those threads are I found them fairly sharp. They are metal, uh, but if you hold the pen as you should hold it, that should not really be an issue. If you want, you can post the pen, it becomes very heavy. Uh, it's all metal, so that will definitely add some weight to it. That also means it's a pretty balanced uh, design, but interesting. Okay, here we have the section. Now, what's interesting about the section is that you have this rubber O-ring there. And the metal, sorry, the barrel being all metal, I can't really imagine you're supposed to use this as an eyedropper filled pen. I think the, uh, the purpose of this O-ring is not to make it uh, sealed as an eyedropper filled pen, but quite simply <clears throat> 
to make sure uh, that when you unscrew the uh, cap you don't accidentally unscrew the barrel because it's kind of kept in place by the o-ring that is the downside to having a rubber o-ring in there uh, I've had that with other pens for example the um, uh, Yardelet Retro Grand um, the the o-ring can make the pen a bit squeaky when you unscrew the section all right so finally as you can see the pen is fed by a converter and what I like about the converter, it's just a converter, it holds ink, it draws up ink, that's all it does, but it has threads, so it screws in, and although that's just a small thing, I always enjoy it because you can't accidentally pull it out. Alright, so there we have it, I'm putting it back together. What do I think of the pen, what do I like about it, what do I not like about it? Well, I like the looks and I like the size, I think it's a nice pen, it's definitely not small, it's heavy, it feels like a well-made, robust pen. Uh, I like the nib, the nib is smooth, performs well, really does what it's supposed to do, I really enjoyed that. It's also not the world's smallest nib, it's not a giant nib, but given the size of the barrel and the diameter of the section, I think it's a really nice size. Things I don't like about it so much, well there's always the standard remark that if you can post the pen but it's so heavy, it becomes very top heavy. Uh, so that's one issue. What I personally found a bigger issue is that the section is very skinny and if you're like me, you have somewhat larger hands, uh, then that becomes a bit of an issue. And although I found the pen comfortable and although the threads are a little sharp, they don't really bother me because of the nice shape of the section, what I did find an issue is that the section is so thin and when I write with this for a full page or more, my fingers start to cramp up. That may not be an issue if your hands are somewhat smaller, so uh, that's a, a personal thing. Alright, so there you have it, that's what I like about it, what do I not like about it. Uh, I will do a writing sample in a second, uh, but first I will give you a couple of measurements. Uh, the weight of the pen, um, it's 58 grams, so it's a, a bit of a heavy weight. The cap weighs 20 grams, the body weighs 38 grams. I'm just reading this aloud, should you wonder why I'm magically staring at my tabletop. Uh, capped, it has a length of 137.1 millimeters, uncapped 125 millimeters. Uh, the length is about, give or take, uh, six inches when it's posted. I have not yet converted that to millimeters. Um, the uh, section diameter is about 8.7 to 10.1 millimeters, and the barrel is 8 to 13.5 millimeters. I find an interesting pen, a nice, robust, heavy pen, and I think what we need to do now is see it in action. That's what we're going to do next. Yoast, thanks a lot for sending me this pen. It's coming back to you straight away. Guys, I hope this was useful, and I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye. All right, here we go with the Caron Dash. A, uh, this is the... Um, this is the Le Mans. I couldn't figure out the name. And this is Blue Sky ink by the same brand, Kandash, and the nib is a medium. Let's do some writing. I have had issues with this pen uh, being very dry. I think that way where the ink gets very light, I think that was just the ink though. Uh, I don't think that's really a matter of the nib. Um, it seems consistent enough now. Fast writing. Nice, smooth writing experience, and as you can see, pretty much no skip, so a very nicely tuned nib. As to wetness, <coughs> it's not the wettest nib out there, but it's also not the wettest ink out there. Uh, as to the um, line variation, you can see you can squeeze out a little bit, but the feed starts, you can't, can't really keep up and it starts to railroad very quickly. Which is a pity because you actually have a somewhat springy nib. I'm just going to prime the feed a little bit. Sorry about that distressing noise. Because I think if you do that, you may get away with a little bit more 
see a wetter writing experience a bit more fun which is actually cute because with this type of springiness and a gold nib that can actually be quite fun all right uh, for those of you who like it reverse writing I've just primed the feed so it's probably wetter than it would otherwise be but you definitely get a fine nib out of that Yoast thanks a lot if you want one you can always go to Applebaum Pennon trying to write this legibly use SB Rebrown as a reduction or as a sorry as a discount code you get a 50 uh, sorry a 10% discount yeah I hope this was useful and uh, Yoast this pen is coming back to you now and I'd gladly see you later Bye-bye.